From the class of 1903, Paul Delmont Bunker, football. Bunker is the first Army football player to earn successive first-team All-America honors at different positions, one season as a tackle and the next at halfback. He was an inductee into the National Football Foundation and College Football Hall of Fame in 1969. Carlton Robert Crowell, head coach, cross country and track and field. During a career that spanned from 1954 to 1975, Crowell guided his teams to 351 total victories in all sports and a 684 winning percentage, including an impressive 34 wins opposite Navy in star meetings. From the class of 1986, Julie Annette Del Giorno, basketball. A four-year letter winner, Del Giorno was a second-team All-America selection. She graduated second on Army's all-time scoring list, averaging 11.8 points per game, and helped the Black Knights to the 1984 Division II NCAA Tournament. John Stanley Emmer, head coach, lacrosse. Emmer guided the lacrosse program for 22 seasons and retired as the winningest coach in NCAA lacrosse history. A two-time Patriot League Coach of the Year, Emmer led Army to nine Patriot League titles and eight NCAA appearances. He was inducted into the National Lacrosse Hall of Fame in 2005. From the class of 1965, Jose Rafael Gonzalez, soccer. A three-time All-America selection, Gonzalez was a second-team choice in 1962 and 1963. During his three years with the Black Knights, Gonzalez helped Army to a pair of NCAA Final Four appearances and a 28-7 and 2 mark. From the class of 1937, Charles Robert Meyer, football, basketball, lacrosse. Monk Meyer earned a pair of varsity letters in football, three in basketball, and one in lacrosse. As a quarterback, Meyer helped Army to a 28-6 victory over Navy in 1935, and he finished second in the initial Heisman Trophy voting. From the class of 1964, Richard Albert Nowak, football. Dick Nowak earned three varsity letters in football and served as team captain of the 1963 squad. An offensive guard and nose tackle, Nowak was a second team All-America selection. From the class of 1970, Gary Richard Steele, football, track and field. On the gridiron, Gary Steele earned three varsity letters at tight end and was Army's first African-American to earn a varsity letter in football. He was a 17th round draft choice of the Detroit Lions. Steele also earned four varsity letters in track and field. From the class of 1961, Albert Vanderbush III, football, baseball, athletic director. A three-time letter winner at linebacker and guard, Vanderbush was a starter on the 1958 undefeated football team. He also spent three seasons on the Army baseball team. Vanderbush later served as director of intercollegiate athletics from 1990 to 1999. From the class of 1952, Edward Higgins White, track and field, soccer. White collected three varsity letters in track and field and graduated as the school record holder in the 400 meter hurdles. He competed in the U.S. Olympic trials. White also helped Army to a 9-0-1 mark in soccer and an Eastern Intercollegiate Championship in 1951. Selected to the NASA astronaut program in 1962, White piloted the Gemini 4 mission and on June 3, 1965, became the first American to walk in space.